so now that your homebrew channel is installed and downloaded onto your Wii, grab your SD card. First, actually, you're going to want to turn off your Wii, then grab your SD card out of the Wii and stick it into your computer. Now, once that's done, you're going to go to this website. Uh, the link will be in the description, so check down there, click that link, and you should be brought to this page. Now, scroll down. This is to install install the C iOS, which is the an, a different iOS for the Wii, so that we will be able to download games onto a USB drive and put them onto the Wii without using the disk drive. So download that. Go down here to the guide, and you should see step one says start off by downloading the C iOS installer make sure to download the correct one so we have a Wii obviously so you're going to want to click Wii download and it will start downloading just save it wherever you want I'm just going to save it on my desktop alright so now that it is done downloading you should have you should open it so go to the zip open it and you should have an apps folder with a D2X CIOS installer folder. So that's good. Um, just unzip this, extract it. Now you'll just have a D2X CIOS installer. Now go back to your SD card and just delete everything off of this because all this stuff is just to download the homebrew channel so we don't need it because the homebrew channel is already downloaded so delete all that everything and go over to your d2x ios installer c ios installer open it and then copy the apps folder to your sd card paste it in there and wait for it to finish and now take the SD card out of your computer put it in the Wii and I will be right back once I do that okay so head over to your Wii stick in the, U the SD card and turn on your Wii press A to continue and now head over to the homebrew channel now when you start the homebrew channel if I can click the start button Oh, yeah, there we go. If When you start the homebrew channel, it should open, and you should see the D2X C iOS installer listed there. Click on that, press load, wait for it to load, and then once it is done loading, you can press any button to continue. Now, there are a few things that we need to change here. The first one is on the first setting, select CIOS, we need to scroll over 1 to get to the V10 Beta 5.3 D2X V10 Beta 5.3 Alt. Now go down to the CIOS base and change that to 56 and then CIOS slot, leave that the same. CIOS revision, leave that the same. And now once those settings are configured you can press A to continue and you should see slot 249 blinking and that means that you've done it right and now you should be able to install without any problems now you just have to wait for it to install and then you should be good to go with the CIOS Alright, so now you should see the 249 slot highlighted green, and that means it was done successfully. And now you can press B to exit. Alright, so now you can go to the system menu. And everything looks the same, but the CIOS has been installed, so it just changes a few things to let you 
load games off of a S off of a USB drive. Um, so now, if you go back into D2X Custom iOS Installer, then you should see that the CIOS slot is red and the warning is also highlighted in red. So that is good. That means it worked. But now we need to do some more changes in the iOS installer. So scroll over on the CIOS to V10 Beta 5.2 and then go down to base and change that to 57 and change the iOS slot to 250 and make sure the revision is at 65535. Press A to continue and you should see 250 blinking and that means you can press A to install. Um, now that we've got all that good, we're going to go ahead and press A. And now you can see that it's blinking in red on the 250, which is good. That's what we want. And hit A again to start the install. And again, uh, this process takes a little while. Um, also need to download content off the internet, so please have a connect to the internet and have a good strong connection. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this and I'll see you when it's done. Alright, and here we are back on uh, the finished screen. As you can see, the 250 is highlighted, didn't hit A. Alright, so now you can see that the 250 is highlighted green, so that is good. And now you can just press A and press B again. So now, guys, we have installed the custom iOS. So here we will restart and it'll take you to the homebrew channel. And one thing I will point out is that you might need to exit to the system menu and check to make sure that the disk reader is still at the um, highest update level because sometimes it might ask you to update it um, so as long as as long as it'll go into the game you should be good to go if it asks you to update it just just update it um, it shouldn't take too long um, in my case my Wii didn't need to update it so yeah okay so you're going to need to download USB Loader GX, you can just click download. And it should be a pretty quick installation, or download. Um, you can just click save. Wait for the security scan to run. Alright, so now it's done. Alright, so now you're going to want to put your SD card in. And you can delete the D2X CIOS installer if you want to. Um, I'm going to delete it just because, you know, we don't need it. Because we've already installed some stuff. So just click delete. Delete that. And now go to your downloads or wherever you put your um, USB loader file go over to 7-zip and click extract here now it should be done and you should see a folder alright so open that folder and it should have an apps folder um, you can either copy the apps folder and delete the one that's in your SD card or you can just open the apps folder and copy the USB loader and that's what I'm going to do scroll down to your SD card Go into apps and paste that into your apps folder. And so now you should have on your SD card, you should have an apps folder and inside the apps folder, a USB loader.gx folder. And that is it. You shouldn't have anything else unless you decided to keep one of the other things that we installed before. Okay, so you're going to want to put your USB drive into the leftmost USB slot if you're looking directly on your Wii and it is placed vertically. Um, once that's done, you're going to turn on the Wii.
and open up the homebrew channel click start and you should see the USB loader GX uh, button here click that press load and if it shows if it has a message that says slow USB drive or wrong USB uh, wrong USB slot then it'll give you a countdown to 20 seconds or so and you're, you're just going to want to move it to the move the USB drive to the other USB slot um, and I have a 14 uh, 16 gigabyte USB drive so that should be enough for a good amount of games and when you first open it it should look just about like this um, so to add some games just put one of your games into the Wii and it should automatically recognize it so you should it'll say disk inserted detected press install and then yes and then it'll say continue to install the game now I don't know why I put in I just now put in we play but it recognizes it as party pack for revolution um, so it might have the wrong name um, but it will have the correct disc cover and the game will be normal um, so just press ok and it'll load and I'm gonna speed this up until it's done Alright, so once it's done, it'll say successfully installed, party pack for revolution, press OK, and now it should go to this menu, um, and your disk isn't going to have a cover, so if it doesn't have a cover, click on it, and make sure all these are checked, and then press either OK or download, I'm not exactly sure, just press download or OK, and then it'll download the covers for you, and then you'll be all set. Um, and if you're having an issue where, um, when your when your game is uh, installing and it freezes, then you're gonna want to go to settings, loader settings, scroll down. Let's see here. Scroll down until you find loader iOS, and make sure the iOS is at 58. Also make sure the game's iOS is above 249, or above 200. Um, then you should have no more problems, um, and your game should be all set and ready. So that guys is how to uh, install games onto your Wii using USB Loader GX and how to install the CIOS uh, iOS. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. It always helps to get likes, guys. So then I know what videos you like, what videos you want more of, and it really tells me a lot about what videos you enjoy. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. And once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.